hey y'all welcome to my channel and if you're not subscribed already please subscribe um i always talk about relationships on this channel and give men and women um some things to consider when trying to get in a relationship so if you're trying to get in a relationship and you um can't get it right um maybe you should listen to my channel and um a lot of times when people don't get it right so many times it's because they're not willing to change but today i want to talk about ratchet females um and i also looked in the urban dictionary to see what they definitions of um ratchet female is and i got some um things so at the end of the v video i will tell you about um what the ratchet female is okay so Ratchet and boisterous women can be entertaining and enjoyable in social settings. But when they are in a committed relationship, especially representing a man, the, the dynamic shifts. Uh, true man values composure and self-discipline. Qualities that he wishes to see mirrored in his partner, his reflection. This desire for a reflective counterpart highlights the importance of balance in relationship. Okay? So the ratchet culture, often associated with certain urban environments, occasionally spills into mainstream society, but is not appealing to men, most men, okay? Especially the men that's more composed and they, they're more professional, okay? Or men who aspire to settle down. When considering a long-term relationship, ooh, I got something in my mouth. I was just doing my hair, so it might be that. Um, consider a long-term relationship and marriage. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't edit. Okay. Men are more inclined to seek out partners who has qualities such as softness, delicateness, and femininity. These traits are the direct opposite of the loud, boisterous, ratchet woman. And, uh, the ones who have the confrontational persona often tied to the ratchet label. It's crucial to understand that men do not seek a partner who resembles another man. Tough, loud, strong. They don't want that. Not no real man. The dynamics of attraction and relationship preferences indicate that men are fundamentally, fundamentally looking for the opposite in their partners. If a man were interested in a relationship with another man, he will pursue that instead. This desire for a feminine partner underscores the different roles that each gender plays in a relationship. So you got to pick your role. You can't be a man and a woman. You got to be soft or hard. You know, one person can can, can take care of the rest, you know. Um, feeding into the emotional and mental aspects of a relationship is essential to nurture the more mature and responsible side of a man rather than indulging in the boyish tendencies he may display. Men are attracted to women who inspire them to grow and evolve, uh, contributing positively to their personal development. They like Ratchet too now. They definitely like Ratchet too, but it's only for a short time. They like Ratchet, okay? They might and not all men like ratchet at all. Some men don't like it at all. But the ones who do, they like it until it spills over in their relationship. And, and, and they start being with that woman. It's not so funny no more. This nurturing aspect helps give deeper emotional connection leading to more fulfilling relationships. Okay, the statistics support this notion. Research shows that men who prioritize Traits such as stability, nurturing, and emotional intelligence in their partners are more likely to maintain long-term relationships. A survey indicated that a majority of men value qualities like kindness, understanding, and support over superficial traits. So you can be superficial as far as um, hair, nails, attitude, you know, that they rather have quality of con kindness, softness, and sweetness. These findings reinforce the idea that men seek partners who align with their deeper emotional needs rather than those who merely embody a temporary sense of fun. 
they like fun, but huh, reality kick in. Uh, women who exhibit strength through their femininity often become the backbone of a successful relationship. They provide the emotional support and understanding that men need, creating a safe space for them to express vulnerability and growth. This foundation allows for a dynamic where both partners can thrive, leading to a, a great partnership. In essence, the appeal of a partner is embedded in their ability to complement a man's life, offering not just entertainment, but also emotional stability. Okay, the desire for a stable and loving relationship drives men to seek out women who has these nurturing qualities. A true partnership is one where both individuals inspire and uplift each other, having a sense of unity and shared purpose. The conversation surrounding relationships reflects deeper societal values and individual preferences. By understanding what men truly seek in their partners, emotional support, femininity, and maturity, it becomes clear that the qualities of a ratchet lifestyle are not conducive to long-lasting happiness. It's not. It's going to be for a little time until somebody else come around that's more ratchet than you. And then it's going to be funny to him and he going to move around. Okay? And then most ratchet people, they don't care. They like, oh, well, this man, I don't give a... And then they be on to the next one, on to the next one, and on to the next one. They mostly, most of the times when they have boisterous, uh, tough um, attitudes, they self-sabotage themselves. So they don't care. They act like they don't care, but really they are hurting inside. Um, men thrive in relationships that nurture their growth and complement their lives, paving the way for fulfilling and enduring connections. So they like um, ratchet sometimes, but that's just only when they're having fun. They don't want to be at home with Ratchet because Ratchet tell them what they don't want to do and what they going to do. And um, a man don't want that. A man want to be like, okay, um, I want to eat today, you know. And a woman be like, okay, baby, I got you. And, you know, not like, damn, I just fed your ass, you know. Like just, I don't know. It just just ain't good for a man that want to be with somebody forever. And then if you ratchet, you can't cut it off. Because you got to go home to their mom. And then if they do something for their mom you don't like, you're cussing them out. So I have like 30 things that say if you ratchet or not, okay? And the ratchet woman may ex exhibit these things, okay? So here we go. Attitude. Sassy, smart mouth. Temperamental. That means a hair trigger. <laughs> Go off at any times over anything that she don't like. Instead of, okay, I'm going to hold it in until we get along. I'm going to bust you out in front of everybody. I'm going to talk about you in front of everybody. I don't care if your mama, your grandma, or nobody there. Nasty and mean. Most of the time. Um, childish because if you're doing this in front of everybody and you don't have no control over your emotions then that's a, a childish a childish quality now this is in the urban dictionary rude and crude obnoxious that means so loud want attention everywhere you go you can't say nothing soft you gotta be so loud everywhere unruly and out of control just out of control you twerking or whatever you're going to do in front of everybody. Disrespectful. Twerking no matter if there's kids or elderly. That's that's disrespectful. Aggravating. Thinks they are so pretty or all that. I don't know about that one. This is in the Urban uh, Dictionary. Attention whores. Definitely attention whores, most of them. Um, mean girl behavior. Spiteful, mean, cruel, manipulative, deceitful, vindictive, especially to other females. Now, that might be true because um, some females that, that have this boisterous and mean and angry attitude, it stems from something. They hurt from something. They they, they jealous-hearted and they, they 
they just against other females. Um, indirect or direct aggression. So they might be on a Facebook or they might be in your face ready to fight or on your social media um, stalking you and snapping and saying all type of crazy stuff, okay? Wanting to fight over nothing. Like, uh, you see how she, if she keep looking at me, I must steal off on her. You know, just crazy stuff like this, you know. I used to be a little ratchet, y'all. Okay, so um, I know. I'm just going to calm down a whole lot. Time to do that to you, okay? So I always have beef with other ratchet females over who's prettier or boy drama. Or boy drama. I always getting into about a man that don't want nobody. And that stems from... um. You can't keep nobody. So whenever you get somebody, you just try to hold on to them and you be ready to fight over them. Um, thinks it's funny to start stuff, cause drama, be disrespectful, say nasty things about other people. Often caught laughing with other ghetto people. It say douchebags. So I'm thinking that um, somebody that's not black wrote that because I don't think we say douchebags. So I don't know if this is valid at all. Um, but some of this stuff, because I know ghetto and I know um, ratchet. Now, ghetto is not, I'm ghetto, but I, I'm not ratchet. I'm not gutter either, okay? So you got to know them differences. But um, whoever say ghetto douchebags is, this can't be a black person wrote this, okay? But some of this stuff is right because I, I know ratchet, okay? So, um, changes their hair and it's a color off very often, super bright colors to draw attention. I do this. <laughs> so when I say, if you got one or two or th do three, Hey, I'll be colorful. Okay. I just like colors. I like how I look in them yeah, and I just want to change it up. Everybody do that though. Every color woman do that. Um, and I'm not saying that, uh, Black girls are the ratchet ones because there is all color ratchet. Okay, so I'm just letting that be clear because uh, my my one of my friends is Caucasian and she ratchet. Okay, she's still ratchet. She ain't never changed. She's still in the hood ratchet. Okay, so I'm not associating black females with ratchetness at all. So you know. Okay, so but you know we was the probably the founders of this stuff. Okay. Long nails and long lashes. Okay, sometimes I do long nails and long lashes. So, again, you know, this is ratchet. Oh, well, I got to be ratchet a little bit. I'm I'm, I'm cleaning it up, though. Sticks out. I just don't want to be the mean and crazy, loud, and disrespectful type ratchet. That's when it's a problem. Sticks their tongue out. Duck face. I don't understand. Oh, okay. So, they be like, eh. Eh, all the time, yeah. Okay, okay, that's kind of ratchet too, but that ain't no serious ratchet, I don't think. Angry grunting noises. Every time you don't like nothing, you twerk a lot, that's that's ratchet. Especially if you twerking, don't matter who is around. Trashy is, is not good. Messy, no morals. You don't have morals? This is the, the ratchet I'm talking about. Lots of slang or replaces letters like C with K. Cool with cool. So cool with cool. That's just a hood thing. Like we, you know, that's just our culture. That's a culture thing to me. Okay. Steals. That's ratchet. Okay. You stealing stuff from Ulta or anywhere else like that. You, you ratchet. Okay. You a little ratchet. No more stealing y'all. Fake and selfish. That could be a, a, a anybody's trait. Manipulators. That definitely is a bad thing. Trying to manipulate situations to get what you want. No matter what the cost. Uh, ghetto mentality. You know, I, I live in the hood. You ain't from where I'm from. So I don't give a, you know. I'm going to do what I got to do to survive instead of just being like, I'm going to do what I got to do to get out this situation. And I ain't going to have to do that. I'm going to live better and I'm going to have way more stuff and be 
smooth, you know? Might be dumb as fuck, but usually street smart. So dumb in books, but street smart. Just all street smarts. Don't know anything about any kind of um, books or no knowledge on anything. Just all about the streets. Post a lot of dumb mood posts on social media. Um, talking about sexual. A lot of women do sexual because they think that men, that's what they want is a sexual woman. So um, they post whatever they think men want. But these are the women that be like, I don't want no man. I don't care about no man. But they posting everything to get a man's attention. You can, you can tell which ones want a man because you won't post nothing about a man. You know, and then a lot of women even act like they like women just to get men's attention. And that's just the wrong attention that you need to get. And then the Urban Dictionary says, avoid these women at all costs. <laughs> at all costs, bruh. Okay? So, you women, if you are looking for a relationship secretly in your heart, and you really want a good relationship, don't um, think that you're going to play into the boyish quality of a man by their um, desires. Because there's no... Um, cap on their desires. You got to speak into the man, the mental man, his mind, instead of his body. Because that man is not going to stay with you if you are speaking to the boyish, the little boy in him. Uh, you got to speak to something different. And you got to be strong enough to be able to change. And you got to be strong enough to not change yourself as far as uh, doing what he want to do, but change to be in your natural self, authentic self, the person you was before you started doing all this ratchet stuff. If 10, 20 years ago, you were sweet and stuff and nice and kind, what changed? What changed in you? What was the, the conditions or the, the situation that made you change and be so, so bad and trashy and loud and boisterous and all this stuff and 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 sensual and uh seductive and all this stuff what made you change to be this different woman i'm gonna do a video on that too um ask yourself and, and is it getting better for you or is it getting worse have you um now enter to into your life where you are starting to have more problems you may have gotten a disease you may have had a baby by somebody who don't want you um, what happened to you to make you get off path like that? Look at your old pictures and, and, and see the innocence in that woman that you used to be whenever it was, it might be five years ago. It might 10 years ago. It might be 20 years old for, uh, 20 years ago for some of the females that's older. Um, but find out what, what caused you to be so hard. And so different. And it might be pain. And if it's pain, you need to go see a psychiatrist about it, maybe. If you can't deal with it, go see a psychiatrist. And, and make it known. And don't hold back. Tell them everything. Don't be trying to hold back. And if you can't tell them everything, you don't know that person. That person neutral. If you can't tell that person everything, that's not the right psychiatrist. You should be able to go to a psychiatrist and, and tell them, let it go. And so you can get to the bottom and root. So you can cry it out and, you know, and get this stuff over with. And if a man is what you desire, I would suggest that you guys go to the Nation of Islam and be a part of that. The real ones, though. The ones that don't allow you to dress seductively. The ones who, who you can't come in there talking all loud and crazy. You just can't, you know. I always say Christianity is the softer version of of God, what God wants you to be. Um, I think that Christian Christian pre preachers, the men, are softer. They not they not as tough and they not um, bold and they not because that's what was supposed to be the bold and the and the straight up. The men, the men are supposed to be more tough and bold and stuff like that. But I think the nation of Islam 
is the tough men, the ones that's not scared to die for what they believe in. And I feel like only a man of that statue can check a woman that think they tough. So you don't need no soft pastor that's going to be talking all soft and, and, and not really about that life, you know. And, and it's just like that. That's just what I believe. I just think that the the Muslims are not as scared as the Christians and what God want them to be. They let stuff pass more than the, the Muslim men. And that's how it should be. You need somebody who's stern, more stern than you. Because if you think you're tough, you're going to NOI with that, that attitude, and you're going to get checked ASAP. You cannot do that there. And I think that's what you need. Try it. Try it and see if you like it. Have an open mind to that. I only say have an open mind to something that can make you evolve and be a better person. Not have an open mind to all this crap. A lot of people, every time they have something going on, you too fat. They always say, oh, well, you 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 cute. You still cute. You too dumb. Oh, okay, but you can learn this stuff. And, and anything that you can change, they always like soften the blow. Instead of just telling you, you, you loud, um, your morals are crappy. You know, you selfish. You, somebody need to tell you. And that's what you need in life. And hopefully um, this message is for somebody and it changes somebody. I hope it do. And I ain't talking about you. Because <laughs> I used to do that. But I, I'm telling you, it never worked for me. And I don't want it to work for you either. I don't want you to go in this life and keep thinking that you can be this way. Yeah, you can't. But um, I'm out of here. I got stuff to do today. Um, I love you all, and I appreciate you all, and make sure you're sipping it slow. All right.